Hey, what's up, guys? <clears throat> this is Nathan here. Um, I haven't posted a video um, about any Darknet stuff in a minute. So, I'm going to do a quick video on something interesting that you guys are going to be interested in. Criminals are selling COVID-19 infected blood on the dark net. That's fucked up. How, how could you get COVID-19 infected blood? Think about that. Think about the connections that some of these dark net users and vendors actually have. Some of these people are in the medical field. Some of these people have connections um, as far as like doctors, RNs, nurses, practitioners, all that shit. I'm, I'm, I highly believe that. Um, and if you don't think professional people are on the dark web, then you're sorely mistaken and you're uninformed. So, let's get to it. Chain Analysis held a webinar on April 15th to discuss the impact of COVID-19 on crypto crime. During this meeting, the company revealed that criminals claim to be selling claim. They don't know for sure if they're selling it, but I would buy some and actually check the blood selling coronavirus infected blood on the dark net according to chain analysis dark net markets have not been immune to the adverse effects of the pandemic with a 33 percent decline in volume of cryptocurrency sent to scam addresses so this is Cyber, cyber criminals have responded differently to the crisis. Some have shown restraint in the following self-imposed honor code. Others have dropped to the new levels of amorality um, in a low for the dark net. In particularly heinous display, a dark net vendor claims to be offering coronavirus infected blood for sale which he says he has injected into bats. The store owner alleges that the blood was extracted from his hospitalized father. He's charging 0.005 Bitcoin per bat. So this motherfucker is on the dark net taking motherfucking bats and injecting it supposedly. This is all supposedly. They don't know for sure. But if someone's saying they're doing it, I think someone's doing it. Um, but he's injecting it into bats. The store owner alleges that the blood was extracted from his hospitalized father. It's not clear whether the vendor is actually selling infected blood, like I said, or just looking to scam victims out of their Bitcoin. If you're dumb enough to go ahead and buy a bat, that has been injected with supposedly his father's infected coronavirus, COVID-19 blood. Um, you're stupid and uh, you only have an intent to hurt somebody with it. Um, I mean, yeah, cool. Oh, it's a knickknack, whatever the fuck you guys call it. But um, the idea of self-restraint is not new to the world. Of darknet markets. Ross Alkbrick, the creator of Silk Road, banned anything that could harm or defraud individuals from his marketplace. So this, this, uh, that's why I respect him. And he's stuck in jail. And they got a pension going for Ross. But he always said that if it could harm you, or defraud individuals from his marketplace, he would not sell it. Sorry for that, guys. Um, I'll be right back. I just have to go real quick and do something. Alright, back to what the fuck I was saying. 
Bitcoin is at $7,038.66. It's went up a little bit from what it was, but the Dow Jones in the stock market has dropped 200 or 2,000 points. I forget, it was 2,000 points earlier. Um, and it says right here, any vendor caught flogging goods as a cure to coronavirus will not only be permanently removed from this market, but should be avoided like this Spanish flu. You are about to ingest drugs from a stranger on the internet under no circumstances should you trust any vendor that is using COVID-19 as a marketing tool to peddle tangible, already questionable goods. I highly doubt that many of you would fall for that. To begin with, but you know, dishonest practice is never a good sign and a sure sign to stay away. So, I'm telling you guys, you need to not fucking deal with people like this. And as it is, some of these dark nets aren't allowing vendors like that. Usually, just like he said, it's his store. This guy's doing this through his own store. So I'm not particularly sure. Um, monopoly market. That's the monopoly market that I just explained there. That's, that's their statement on the COVID situation and the criminals here on the dark net. It's not clear whether the current crisis will have a profound effect on the world of cryptocurrency crime. For now, the industry continues to monitor and fight illicit blockchain transactions wherever possible. Um, as far as I know, um, there's a Spanish research team of more than 100 people is developing an app that uses AI and blockchain to predict the evolution of COVID-19 pandemic to help manage lockdown measures. The app, which supports of Institute of Biomedical Research, Salameca, and the Artificial Intelligence Research Institute, is currently at proof of concept phase. It uses blockchain to store and verify digital identities and licenses for individuals to perform certain tasks such as returning to work, going to supermarket during the lockdown period. Each identity is a form of certificate recorded on the blockchain and each person will hold a respective private key to their own identity. So what the private key means, the PGP. Um, you have a key and there's a particular key and link that you give people in order to decrypt that. You have that key, you put it in, okay? And then you send that encryption after you encrypt that key right there with the message you're sending, encrypt it, then you have the encryption link. You send that link to the person. It's a secret message. No one can open that. That's encrypted. It takes someone fucking years to open it. And then you take that, you stick it in the PGP decryption system, and then it decrypts it for you because you have the key because no one else is able to decrypt that unless they have that particular key between two people so that's kinda how PGP uh, encryption works um, but I figured I'd get on here and just forewarn some people um, just maybe so they avoid some people that are acting shady about things, saying they got coronavirus blood or some stupid shit. You guys be safe. I've been trying to stay safe, you know. My chest has been hurting here lately. Right here in my fucking heart. And it's kind of worrying me, but, uh, I ain't stressing nobody over it. If I die, I die, so... Much love, guys. I appreciate every single one of you that are actually watching my videos. I appreciate the 55 subscribers that I do have. Um, and you guys 
keep on keeping on and uh, give me a like, comment to let me know what you think about this situation. It's pretty freaking stupid if you ask me. Some random dude on here. Yeah. But much love, guys, and peace out. Don't forget to subscribe.